Divine revelation is next. Because how do you abide in the in, in God? You abide in God through revelation of who God is. If you don't know him, this is why the, uh, Paul said, that I may know him. That I may progressively become more intimately and acquainted with him. Amen. That is my purpose of life. So he says that for my determined purpose is that I may know him. In other words, to get divine revelation as to who he is. And so, so Jesus said, uh, know me and know my word. Amen. Go to Hebrews 1, chapter 1. We're going to look at verses 1 and 2. So the first one is divine connection. The next one is divine revelation. As how does God reveal himself to you is important. The revelation of who he is is important. So it says, God, who at various times and at various in various ways spoke in times past, he says, to the fathers by what? By the prophets. So the Old Testament, when you look at Isaiah, Jeremiah, when you look at Ezekiel, he spoke to us through the prophets at one time. But look at somebody say, a change has come. Because now he speaks to us a different way. He speaks to us through Jesus Christ. Amen. Then he says, has in, in these last days spoken to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the world. And so revelation is understanding and hearing God's word. He, he speaks to us through his word. John 524, I want you to see it. He says, most assuredly I say to you, he who hears my words. Right. So if you want revelation, you gotta you hear his word. his word. You can't get revelation of who he is without his word. This is why studying to show yourself approved unto God is important because you'll never know him unless you know his word. So he says, most assuredly I say to you, who, who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death unto life. Look at somebody say, the person who does this is blessed. Because not only does he have divine connection, he has divine revelation of Jesus Christ through Jesus' words. What is the gospel? The gospel talks about him. It talks about his birth, his life, his death, his resurrection. The gospel talks about who Jesus is, what Jesus said. And the gospel, the good news, is like a newspaper. Extra, extra. Read all about it. When you pick it up and you read the words of Christ and what he has done for you, what it does, it causes you to be pure in heart. What it does, it causes you to be a peacemaker. What 